Good afternoon. This is Michelle Welch's informative presentation, Speech 2, Column 10 for Professor Slip. And I'm doing my final speech today in front of my audience on the Nissan Rogue. The Nissan Rogue, and I've all had some my my bibliography for the Nissan Rogue presentation, is demonstration from the catalog. It's a 2011 Nissan Rogue from Nissan's website. What I did was a lot of research and competitive. And what interests me, so I, I am able to inform my audience, is my interest because possibly to buy it. If you like to look and pass it around, then actually, since I can't visually have the car here, but it tells you a lot. And some of the things that I, and I looked at, and it was great for me to compare, was the stats, uh, the length, the width. Um, it had a length. Uh, I have my notes. This is my notes for comparison. Uh, the length of the rope was 1.2, and I did comparisons against the BMW X1 and the RDX Acura. And the width, it made range 7.9, the height was 66.3, which was not too high for a taller person to step into the vehicle. Um, miles, great mileage, 21 versus 27 CD highway drive, it's not too bad, uh, 170 horsepower, over 6,000 torques. Uh, the base is not too long, 105 inches. Uh, the drivetrain, and this was a wheel drive. This vehicle is available in the standard front wheel drive. However, with climate changes in the winter, uh, I was looking at the all wheel drive vehicle. The weight is not too heavy. Um, in comparison to the other two vehicles, it is the lightest, it's 3,600 pounds. And the price, this has really got my attention. The price is $27,000. Can you beat that? Oh, all wheel nice. drive. Good. Um, some of the features oh, wow. that this vehicle yes. had was uh, Bluetooth navigation, which on higher grade classes, this vehicle would be considered options. However, on the Nissan Rogue, the 2011 model, this is standard equipment. Standard equipment is because people want to talk hands free now, so Bluetooth is added. Mm -hmm. You have home link to open your garage. Uh -huh. These features people look at is as expected. However, on a $27,000 vehicle, you can't beat it. There are nine colors to choose from. You also have your leather and your pulp interior. You know, uh, it's great for a young family, sick person. You have 60-40 rear feet folds down. So if you want to do your grocery shopping, if you're traveling, you have luggage, just everyday tote around big items, I a problem fitting that. The car goes three rows or two rows? No, ma'am, it's two rows. Gross, but it's comfortable. The average person six foot above can sit lying in the back without being squeezed up or too tight. Very comfortable. Um, just about anything you'd want to do on road, you can do. And here's a pity hack it now. The case all things are standing. Yeah. And why I say that this is a great bang for your buck is because when you look at the other two in comparison with the same class, we're looking at thirty-two and thirty-six thousand dollars. So for twenty-seven thousand. Yeah. Yeah. The colors. It's redesigned for the year 2011, but the designs are, are very important because you have your, your airbags. We now have eight zones for your airbags and a shoulder curtain. So now that when you sit, just your front and back present, per, excuse me, protected, but your side ear curtains are there. And this is for the driver and the passenger side. Nissan says that there are reads to make the road your own, the gas mileage. One new thing that we see is another um, optional, most vehicles standard, the UV ports. We have three in this vehicle. The Nissan has smart storage. And you have a review camera, so when you're backing up, yeah. you can actually oh, yeah, see yeah, what's yeah, behind like that. that. It's like good, that. especially yeah, because you yeah. have children, and the children are, are at play. Oh, so yeah. when when thinking about buying a compact SUV, price range under 30, this is a vehicle we could consider. Classy, not too expensive, just right. Mm -hmm. That's it.